You know me by now. I'm Harry. You probably don't remember me. I'm Little Richard. <laughs> I don't even know who the fuck I am. Yeah, nobody cares. It's Dead Dex. Yeah, buddy. Dead Dex. Yeah, buddy. All right, buddy. Yeah. I can do too much of anything. Can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just put that there and look at it. Today, look at the we're talking, we're talking about, we're opening Serpent's Tongue. I like to say it as Abu Dhabi as possible. Mm -hmm. Serpent's Tongue. This massive ass box is a booster box, believe it or not. Let's wait till you get a load of these fucking packs. I'm going to go ahead and slide yeah, this all the way out of here. That's what she said. So here's the box, and just for scale, you get the idea. Here's what a pack looks like with my monstrous fucking hands. Uh, tell me that ain't beautiful. Here's a regular pack, yeah. size wise. Here's a normal pack. <laughs> That's what we're dealing with today. Big old mm. nipple rubbing cards. Oh, nipple rubbers. Uh, I don't even know what all that says. Because <laughs> uh, I can't read, so. Don't expect me to do it. That. Uh, it has a very, uh, very cool aesthetic and look to it. Under Covenant of the Ohio? I don't know. You'd be shocked. <laughs> Is that what it says? Ah, uh, shit. Return Upon Awakening. I got you'd be, that one. You'd be shocked to know it's made in China. Yeah. Uh, man, this box, this thing's really sturdy. It's, uh, for these big-ass cards, you'd have no storage options, so they give you this big reusable box. You can slide that back in there. I've talked about these before and shown a couple on camera, but I've never opened any packs. So... You all see what some humongous cards look like. And the guy at the bottom, his title is the Architect of Reality. Well, uh, let's see. I'm going to do 10 packs because I want to keep some in the display here. Just to be able to show people what massive packs look like. So They won't last long. I'll probably go back and dip in there and get the rest of them. But here's our 10 humongo packs to open. <laughs> Now these are the ones that uh, insertion was all screwed up when they made them in China. They kind of just jammed cards into packs. Mm -hmm. So you don't exactly know what you're going to get. They do have a tear tab. So. And they are first edition. Also the only, only edition. edition. <laughs> yeah, it's just for a quick recap. If you haven't seen the other, the Kickstarter didn't do well. Well, it did. It raised a lot of money and it funded and they made the core product. There was a lot of delays and then there was all the ancillary stuff. Almost none of it got made. Uh, so it ended badly and it immediately people kind of forgot about it and had a bad taste in the mouth and it was dead But there's a lot of this out there still enough. You can find it So this is a, this is a card that was intended to be used online to get points and redeem another card. These are useless They never even made that website. One of the things that never got delivered Incendiar, Incendiarist or sin, Incendiarist hmm. or, I don't know. You choose. I might have fucked it up both times uh, So Give you an idea of the aesthetic. I can hold these way down here and you can still read them. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can read them too. It's all obviously digital art, but I actually think it, it's really good for what it is. Um, some of these, so you get into cards like this, there is a lot going on. Uh, what is that? Virtue of Temperance. So a lot of things. You got faction, you got type, a lot of other stuff I don't even remember. <laughs> uh, a lot of more other stuff down here. And then this is uh, one of the wild things about the game. So this is a language. Um, this is like a rarity, basically. Power. These dots. Four is the strongest. This here, you have to remember this language. It's an actual language even for the game. And pronounce this for the spell to cast successfully. You hold up the card so your opponent can see it. And they determine whether or not you said the word correctly as to whether or not it was successful. Bowie, I can read it and still fuck it up. Yeah. Bowie, Lunto, Lunto, Bowie, Bowie, <laughs> David Bowie. Mm, close enough. Yeah, I'll give it to you, bud. So, <laughs> yeah, successfully cast it. What I'm really curious about is to dig through all this, figure out how this plays, and just see if you were to just take this component out, how would it play? Um, you have a spell book. You don't have a closed deck, so you pick your cards ahead of time, put them in your spell book. You can pick a few each round that you're able to cast. So. Um, I'll let you look at something. Look at that. It looks evil. Mm -hmm. Empathetic Pulse. That's a two daughter. Is that Atherama? It's a three daughter. I, they, I don't know. They they nailed the the aesthetic they were surely going after. You know, they got the, it's this whole spellcasters going at it. So you get this magical 
a dark theme. Hallucinatory decoy. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, pronounce that. What's the back of it say? Oh, let's see. He's, some, <laughs> he's, he, he's so see histo? That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. well, you did it, bud. We both speak mm -hmm. dumb, so we probably get along playing yeah. this game. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of this just strikes me as very freaky, very cool. This is a component. This is a, you can use these to make and cast other spells in the game. Set these over here. Uh, so yeah, that was the whole shtick. But then they wound up, you know, when they first put these on the Kickstarter, this is from 2012, the cards looked real rough. Prototypes were pretty ugly. And I think like during the Kickstarter, they made this thing happen. And some people jumped in and made better art and it got better as it was going. Uh, but initially, I remember seeing some of these. I don't remember seeing this card. Hmm. That looks really cool. Mm hmm. Um, I wonder if this is one that's like super rare and people aren't even sure if it was ever made. Because there are some like that. Uh, that's a four star. Yeah, if Richard hasn't seen it, then it probably is super rare. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I was wondering if I had some sort of a one of the God Packs where they just accidentally shoved in a bunch of awesome shit. I don't know. A lot of these don't look familiar, but I, there's so many cards in this set. They wound up making like a 500 card set. Holy shit. Yeah, it's humongous. Now I've seen that one. Seen, yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that is really cool art. Mm -hmm. But I just don't remember if I've seen it before or not. Uh, something about these humongous cards, I've loved them ever since I've touched them. And that, you know, it's a very uniform, cool aesthetic. They look dark, they look magical. We don't need that card. What we got here? Okay. Big old ball. <laughs> That's a big ball. I ain't trying to say that word. Oh, the flesh twister. That is freaky. Hmm. I like that one. What we got? That's a three daughter. Slow area. Even that's cool art. Love that one. Uh, dark chi form. Let me get these lower again. Piercing construct. Oh, fireball. Fucking ripping off magic. Yep. Yep, I don't know how you feel about these. Harry, you like these as much as I do? No. Not nearly <laughs> as much as you do. <laughs> I mean, I like them. I think the, like you mentioned, the aesthetic's great. Would I ever want to play this game? Uh, I mean, as a drunken party game? Sure. Outside of that, no. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to, hard to imagine taking it seriously. Yeah. And uh, competitive scene. And I definitely do not want to try to memorize this new language they created. That sounds like a lot of work. And they stink. Yeah, say that Dude. one. Oh, Lord. Put that on F camera. F. Shank Vospu. <laughs> I can't say that shit. F. Shank Vospu. That doesn't have enough. Bops, bopsu. Sorry. Doesn't have enough vowels, does it? No. I was looking at this bobble again. It's very, very pixelated up close. Oh, is it really? Mm -hmm. Have you, have you a gander? Oh yeah, I see it. I wonder if, you know, if you didn't do the art, realizing how big these cards are going to be. Yeah. Uh, and you had to blow it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, then you blow it up like that. I can see that. Got here, sorry. Got a resonating siphon. Let me lower these back down. Resonance Clash. It's a three daughter. We've seen Dark Chi before. Now they do have... Um, the same name with different dot versions. They do have some like that. They basically are a different strength. That's pretty freaky. Whoa. It looks like the dude off of uh, Assassin's Creed. Beast form is super cool too. That's that's just a gorgeous card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wondered how good I was gonna do with this because I'm I wanna just hold these and slob on them. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going okay, considering. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get it done. We've seen that one. Oh, very cool. Very nice. Psychotic relapse. I imagine. Mm hmm Cool. Spider gob. Also cool. Yeah, I mean, almost none of these are stinker. Like, you look at the art and go, ooh. They're all cool. Mm-hmm. That's very cool. 
I was looking to see more of those four dots pop up. Uh, they have deck restrictions, deck building restrictions on the dots just on the power. You only have so many of each one. Oh, don't know how to say that word. Nope. <laughs> Yggdrasil? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Close enough. The unraveling. There's God's dice. I didn't know that's what they look like. <laughs> A little, uh, what, electrostatic build dot. Pretty cool. The puppeteer. Freaky. I, well, I just put his nipple right in the camera. Hmm. Make that thumbnail, get a million views. Yep. <sighs> For a man nipple. <clears throat> Critical implosion. All right, three packs left. So if you hadn't heard of this game, I hadn't actually seen these cards. Both how massive they are and how cool the art is. I don't know if you'll be as torp about them as I am. No possible way. <laughs> but every time I remember they're here, I run over there and touch <laughs> on them, man. It, this time I've had cracked a box I've kept sealed forever. Because yeah. I just couldn't fucking stand it. And we we showed this sealed box not too long ago in a video. Yep. Spoiler alert, it ain't sealed no more. Nope. I was staring at it uh, earlier today and was like, oh, this bitch is coming open. I haven't touched these in a while. I am going to try to keep a few packs unopened. <laughs> just because the sealed packs are so cool looking. Here's a four daughter. Physical Demanifest. The Unraveling. Harmony of the Weave. At least there's none I can tell that I've got a really jacked pack distribution. Maybe I'm getting way too many three dots. Maybe. Something. <laughs> I'm overlooking at another game. Words. <laughs> Fucking Harry just fell asleep on me. Yeah. He's done. Archivist word snatcher. <laughs> Pretty cool. Snatcher. <laughs> you said snatcher. Yeah, I really want to try to do something this game. We don't want to invent rules to play this though, because I'm not. I don't want to deal with that language crap. Well, that's why I'd like to try the mechanics without it and to see how it plays. Yeah. Does it really matter if you if they're never unsuccessful? Right. Or or you just change it to a roll of d6. Build some success into that. I yeah. mean, something. If you really want a chance for the spells to fail, if that matters. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'd like to try to do something. They have so much, so many things going on in the cards. You got some. It's a good example. A lot of them have a lot, but some of them have multiple things running up the side and the bottom. And I guess that's enough. You got multiple abilities here. You got multiple things at the bottom. You got the language thing, and of course you have all these different stats here. Uh, this is some kind of like shield or something. You turn this. Uh, there's a lot going on here. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's a god dang. Look at that pile of cards. <laughs> I wonder if I can shuffle these bitches. <laughs> all right, that's enough talking about that. Ah uh, shit. How we do then? Yeah, good enough. Fuck. I guess. Yes, we did. Yep. 